differentiation function of a function chain rule, example one. If y equals 3x plus 5 to power 4. Well, this one, we can apply a chain rule to this function here. Let u equals 3x plus 5. Therefore, y equals u to power 4. And then we can write u now is a function of x. So we can write the u, the x equals, if we differentiate that, we just get 3. If we have a function y equals x to the power of n, the y, the x, will be equal to n, x to the power n minus 1. But now we have a function u is a function of x. x here is to the power of 1 here. So that would be 1 times 3, that's 3. Then we have x to the power of 1 minus 1. So that's 1 minus 1. And that will become 3x to the power of 0. And we know that x to the power of 0 equals 1. So therefore, the u, the x equals 3. Because that's 3 times 1. That's 3. Now we know what the u, the x is. We need to find the y, the u. So the y, the u, so the y, the u will be, in this case, x is u. So that will be 4, because x is u. So you're going to have 4, u, 4 minus 1, which is 3. So that's the y, the u. So applying the chain rule, the y the x equals the y, the u, times the u, the x. We know what the y, the u is. The y, the u is 4 u to the power 3 times the u, the x. The u, the x is 3. And that can be written as 3 times 4 as times u to the power of 3. But we know what u is. u, so that would be 12. Now u is 3x plus 5. So that would be 3x plus 5 to the power of 3. And therefore, the y dx equals 12 into bracket 3x plus 5. 5 to the power of 3. We could have done it quickly without actually applying the chain rule here. So that is the chain rule formula. Uh, this is times, not x. That's times. We could have done it by saying, if I differentiate that, think of that as a bigger x. So that would be 4. You bring the 4 here, and then you get 4 minus 1. That's 3. So that's what we've got. And then you then times it by differential of what's inside. If I differentiate the inside bracket, that's 3. So that would be times 3. So that's how I've got my 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Then 3x three, three plus 5 to power 3. So you could literally just do it without even writing all that down. But it's good to show you're working because that's how you get your full mark. So that's the final answer to differentiating that.